Targeting the next U.S. launch of astronauts, another successful space station resupply mission, and honoring pilots for National Aviation Day. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. NASA's SpaceX Crew-1 mission to the International Space Station is targeted for launch no earlier than October 23rd. NASA certification of SpaceX's crew transportation system will allow for regular crewed flights to the station, ending our sole reliance on Russia for access. On August 18th, the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency's HTV-9 cargo spacecraft left the International Space Station after a three-month stay. HTV-9 delivered about four tons of supplies and experiments, including new lithium-ion batteries used to upgrade power systems. We celebrated National Aviation Day on August 19th with special recognition of the skills, abilities, and crucial role of pilots and aviators. The annual observance falls on the birthday of the world's very first pilot of an airplane, Orville Wright. Find out more about our groundbreaking aeronautics research at nasa.gov flight. The one-of-a-kind engine for NASA's X-59 Quiet Supersonic Technology Airplane was delivered to our Armstrong Flight Research Center in California, where it will be checked out, then sent to nearby Palmdale, California, where the plane is being built. The engine will power the X-59 on missions to gather public reaction to the quieter sonic booms the aircraft is designed to produce. Technicians at our Kennedy Space Center in Florida have been busy installing the spacecraft adapter cone that will connect the Orion spacecraft to the Space Launch System rocket for the Artemis I mission around the moon. This is one of the final major hardware operations for Orion prior to integration with the rocket. We're celebrating 15 years of our Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, which has helped reshape our understanding of the Red Planet and provided a slew of stunning images along the way. As of early August, just one of the spacecraft's three cameras alone had taken more than 6.8 million images and generated 194 terabytes of data sent from Mars since 2006. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on the web at nasa.gov.